Heat transfer by conduction is really pretty basic stuff, right? Um, if you have some atom that is that is vibrating, right, uh, and it's up next to another atom that is vibrating, um, and they're going to bump into each other and literally transfer the energy by physical contact. Um, it's a bit like, you know, somebody's just thrash dancing next to you at a dance and, and they run into you and they make you move um, sort of a thing, right? So it's just basically heat transfer by contact. Um, uh, and, and the heat will flow from hot to cold. And I think I showed you this simulation where basically as, as the, the becomes disorderly, right? As the, the, the heat distribution becomes disorderly, the heat flows from hot to cold because it just kind of averages out, okay? Uh, if we had a formula, and we don't actually need to do calculations with this, but the rate of heat flow, so if we just do Q over T, right, is proportional to K to the difference in temperature. And this is why, um, you know, it's e easier to heat a home in uh, Oregon and less easy to heat it in Bozeman, Montana, right? Because in Bozeman, there's a huge temperature difference between the inside and the outside, right? Um, it has to do with the area through which the heat is flowing. So that's the size of your house, right? And then it's inversely proportional to the thickness. So houses, you know, in, in, the, in the Midwest, they, they'll make the walls. In fact, I think code now is like two by eights or two by sixes for the the thickness, so they're six inches thick. Um, but they'll, you know, in the Midwest, they'll super insulate houses and make them like a foot thick um, uh, to, to do that. And then they'll put a good insulation. So this K is just like how insulating it is. The smaller the K, the smaller the heat flow, right? Kind of an inverse of the R factor, um, okay? And then A is just the area through which the, um, the heat is flowing, right? L is the how far it has to flow, okay? Um, if you have a vacuum, of course, that's heat flow by conduction is flow through matter. If you have a vacuum, you don't have any heat flow by conduction, right? So this is why a thermos works, right? That doesn't mean there's no heat flow. It just means that there's no heat flow by conduction. You can get radiative heat transfer in a thermos. Um, and one way to minimize radiative heat transfer is to silverize the, the, um, the surfaces, right? And then as far as preventing uh, conduction, right, you can use down and synthetics. Down is by far the greatest uh, insulator, right? And basically all these insulators do is they trap air. Air is a very poor conductor of, um, of heat, right? And then you need some thickness, right? Um, so basically the down just keeps the air from moving. It just traps warm air. And the same thing with synthetics, okay? Uh, these are just some pictures, right? So a pile jacket uh, just traps air in its little spaces there. Um, this is a down jacket. Uh, this might be a synthetic jacket, right? Synthetics are still not as good as down. We just don't have a synthetic that's quite as good as uh, a few million years of evolution, right? Um, but anyway, yeah, there you go. The only downside, and I hate, I, I didn't mean that pun. The only downside to down is that if it gets wet, uh, it becomes useless. Whereas a synthetic, if you drop a synthetic sleeping bag in a lake, um, you can spin, just wring the water out of it and it'll keep you warm. The down sleeping bag requires a trip to a dryer with a few tennis balls. Anyway, um, that's all I'll say about conduction.